we're going to do a parabola using the method shown in basic instruction 2510 on page 249. So I'm going to start out by drawing a rectangle that is 130 millimeters by 186. So come across here by 130. Again, I'm just starting at 20 to try and make that numbers nice. And we will come up by 186. Now, I'll complete the rectangle by coming across here and up here. These are only construction lines. I can just see where they meet. And the next thing I'm going to want to do is mark out the halfway point along here. So it's going to be 130 divided by 2 is 65. So we come across here to 65. That is 65 to there, 130. You don't need to put dimensions in, I'm just doing this to help make clear what, what we're doing here. There we go. Now, I'm told that my vertex is up here at V. So to draw my parabola, I need to do each of these panels separately. I'm going to divide this piece along here into five equal widths and the piece along here into five equal widths. So just as a little reminder that is 186 high. And that number is going to be important because it's about to make our life a little bit more difficult. You could do four equal widths too, but as you can see here four doesn't divide into 65 so well. So 65 divided by 5 is 13. So we'll make a little mark off along here, 13, then 26, then 39, and 13 by 4 is 52. So there's my little points along the way. Now, I need to divide this side into 5. N not quite so easy. So we're going to go back to our standard technique of how to divide a line into equal widths. What a number that does divide by 5, that's close to it, is 200. So I'm going to make a line that's 200 millimeters long. There we are. And we can connect the ends of it. And I'll just mark off equal sections of 5. So 200 divided by 5 is 40. So 40, 80, 120, 160. Then I'm going to draw a series of lines that are parallel. I'll just turn these around to where that works. To this line at the end. So we slide down. There we go. There we go. And this might seem like a bit of extra work, but actually it's pretty quick, and you can time it by looking back in the movie. But the time it takes to try and divide that by 5 and then to figure out tiny decimal places, and make a mistake and come back, it's not worth it. So I'm going to put some numbers in these guys. I'm going to call them 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 for the five lines I'm about to draw. Now I need to draw some vertical construction lines up along here from each of my points at the bottom. Okay, so the next thing is each of these points is going to get connected to V. So we're going to come up here. Well, 5 is a point on my parabola all the way down there. Then 4 is going to come up along here. Connect to V. So I can actually number my bottom lines as well. I'll number them at the top so you can see it. 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So where 4 crosses 4 is another point in my parabola.
Here he goes into the vertex. One. And we can see the vertex is also a point. So where 3 crosses 3, there we go, where 2 crosses 2, and 1 crosses 1. And those are all the points on one side of this. Now if you have a French curve or flexi or a flexi curve, stick it down now. I'm going to try and see if we do it freehand. So I'm going to hold my pencil nice and long, like this, and just lightly begin to try and sketch in the curve. See, can I connect the dots? And as I see the curve come together, I can begin going a bit heavier. Remember, this has to come across horizontal at the top. This is going to come out down the other side. So there we go. So I'm following the light lines that I made the first time around. And that's one half of my parabola. So I'll very quickly do the other half. Again, I'm going to take my 30 millimeter increments, 13, 26, 39, use a calculator if you have to, and 52. Get my vertical lines. Now there's no point in doing all this again because we've done the work. So I can just come across from here. And I can make a mark there. That's four. Across from here is three. Two. And one. Four, three, two, one, and zero. And we have four, three, two, and one. Our lines in like before. Now, one crosses one up here, two crosses two, three crosses 3, 4, crosses 4. And of course we have 0.5 down the bottom. And now it's time for another bit of drawing. So we're getting a bit of a shape there. And we can go over it a bit darker now. And there's our parabola.